<laughs> there's not really a whole lot of uh, videos for this, but I found this one. Let's let's check it out. Let's see if perhaps if this can get through the block. <laughs> anyway, this is well the vocals only live. That's pretty sick. Um, been a pretty impressive one week club. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see how the if the streak continues. <laughs> I assume it will. So here's the interesting thing. This is probably not my favorite song of theirs, but this might be my favorite vocal work of theirs. Is that if that makes sense? Like I just love how they work together. There's a couple things that I really like. One, obviously the harmonies. Uh, I really, really like how they uh, build off of each other. Second thing that I have to say I really like is I like their ability to pass between each other really well. He'll start off with something and then she'll take over the next turn. I really like how they do that. Oh, that's so cool. It's really cool how they do that. Um, the other thing that I have to say that is pretty cool 
is that I think one thing that kind of adds to it for me is their actual mannerisms. It to me it sells it, you know. And I think that the funny and fun part of it is the fact that they add in, in those breaks and those pauses in the music. And I think that honestly that was a smart choice. I feel like that had this just kind of continued over with the same flow of just uh you know, the strumming pattern that they have on the guitar and just kind of kept it going with a steady and like fully throughout the song rhythm. I actually think that I would have lost something. I really do. I feel like that the, this song is a little bit of a, I want to say clever as well. I know I said that about the last song, but I think that this song is really clever. And I think that the reason why is just because the way that they decided to do the structure, again, the creative freedom for them has been absolutely their biggest blessing. I don't think that they would have been able to do as such a cool music if they didn't have that uh, ability to experiment. And I think it's paid off for them. And again, their, uh, their harmonies and just the whole flavor of the song is really cool. So... I'm impressed. This is a... <laughs> I do have to say, I do like the song, though. I do like the song. It's not like that I think the song is terrible. Um, but vocally speaking, my favorite. <laughs> I know that's weird, but really, really cool. There's one last piece that I wanted to show you before I let you go that it was actually kind of like my favorite harmony. I obviously think it's the, uh, the obvious choice, but hey, what can you do? It's the third one, so after hers then his then together i love this <laughs> i feel like that the harmony just kind of is got some resonance to it that you don't see normally and that's really cool the the last thing that i want to say i think one thing that's kind of cool about listening to akamu is because everything is self-produced and self-written and everything like that um i think honestly when i watch him perform there's a little certain extra sense of pride and i think that you can always tell like when someone's writing their own music because there's just a little bit more of that feeling <laughs> but anyway let me know what y'all think about this we'll discuss this down in the comments below thank you and goodbye <laughs>